Okay, uh, what we're going to do in this video is another geometric construction, and uh, in this case it's going to be an angle bisector. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start with an angle. So uh, I guess I'll use two rays. So, uh, so there's A, A, B, and A, C. I have that, and then what I can do is I can kind of move this around and orient it however I want. So I'd probably, for whatever reason, I would rather have something like this. Okay, so I'm going to bisect this angle right here. So whatever this is, I'm going to cut it in two. Um, and the way that I do that is first, I'm going to use the compass tool, um, which I'll find in here. So I've got down here, the third option is compass. Um, but that requires two points. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm actually just going to put a point on here so that I can kind of control the compass tool. So I have this, and what I'll do is I'm going to go from D to A, and uh, I want the center to be there. Okay, so I have this, and then what I'll do is I'll find this intersection so that I have the point D and the point, uh, it'll probably be E. So let me use this. If you use just the point tool, but you get two things to highlight, it finds the intersection of those two things, which is actually kind of convenient, um, especially if they intersect in more than one spot. Uh, it just gives you the one that you're, kind of pointing at at the time. So uh, AD and AE are the same length right now. Uh, well, they'll always be the same length because we um, they're the radii of a circle. The radius, radii. They are both radii of a circle. Um, okay, so, so far so good. So I have that. Now what I'm going to do is something uh, that's a little weird at first. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to measure this again. So go from D to A. And then go back up here and use... Uh, D as the center, so that, and then I'm going to do it again, go from D to A, except I'm going to use E as the center, so I have this, so right now I've drawn three circles, so I started with this one, which uh, gave me the points D and E, and then I used, uh, these are actually congruent, all these circles, they have the same radius, um, so I've ended up using the exact same distance from D to A, except I made D the center, which gave me this circle, and then I went from D to A again, so that's setting your compass, and I let E be the center. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to find this intersection point right here. So let me click that. So it finds that intersection point. I'm going to use this ray tool, go from A to F, and I've actually bisected it. So if I move this, you can kind of see it, but you're not getting the full effect. So let's measure it. Click here, I'm going to go from uh, D to A to F, so 21.05, and then I'm going to go from F to A to E, which is also 21.05. So I've actually done it, and then I, uh, I'm pretty sure I moved those uh, backwards, but it doesn't really matter. If I take this, I change this, you can see um, it's always going to be bisecting it, so I've constructed a bisector. It's pretty neat. Um, geometric constructions, I mean, uh, if you're doing them on paper, they, they're they kind of, I don't want to say a waste of time, uh, but since you get one picture in one instance, uh, not nearly as cool. Uh, but this one, not so bad. So what I did to kind of recap is I put the point D on this uh, ray AC, um, and then I used the compass tool, so I went from D to A, made A the center, found this intersection point, and then I went from D to A again, which is setting the compass, made D the center, I went from D to A again, set the compass again, made E the center, then the intersection of those two circles I got, um, and I went from A to F, and that right there is your angle bisector. I hope you uh, found this helpful, and uh, good luck.